Hello, welcome back to my channel. I hope everyone taking care of themselves mentally, physically and spiritually. Good to see you again. And we are at Borough Market, one of the best markets in London. But this is not the plan. The plan is to go to the Tate. The Tate Modern, but I need to fix my laces. I wanna show you this. Look at this car. Lola. Hello, Lola. And now we're really off to the Tate Modern. All done. And we are here at the Tate Modern. Look, this spaceship made of brick or something. This tree has an unlucky day. This is not good. Next time I read the label. So this is whiskey we mixed with the lemon juice and for some reason it's sparkling. One out of ten. And I have two of them, two. It's weekday, three o'clock, very hot. September Bastille, very, very hot for London. And I went to the shop and in the fridge the the alcohol section is almost almost empty so I had not much choice I could choose gin and tonic in a can already mixed or whiskey sour which I have no idea what it is so I choose that one mm, I like challenges I have a purse I'm not gonna show it to you because it's rather belong to the Barbie movie anyway I have the coins in them and in the self checkout you, you can use steel cash coins so I started to put in them like we're talking about 1p and 10p's and you know what it was more than enough when I bought the tickets the gentleman who was at the counter said that you know it's only to and the Warhol because uh, you know this is how I asked for the ticket I didn't say the exact name the proper name of the exhibition I said I want may I have a ticket for the Andy Warhol and uh, he was like you know that it's only two of them and I said I don't mind sir because even being in a room with one original is more than worth the price it was like oh yes so when you enter the exhibition you need to go up 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 it's one of the top floors in the old building and when you enter the exhibition you can get this uh, little little book and i suggest that you do not look into that book because it will give away quite a lot of things, lots of surprises which uh, which gonna disturb your your experience of the whole thing. So, because I thought it's basically one or two rooms, this is what I expected, but no, it's going on and on and on. Altogether, eight rooms, seven rooms. The seventh room is the main one, the main show. Over there, you have the Andy Warhols, two of them, the self portraits, and the other one is the double Marlon Brando. But how they do it is the main thing. This is amazing. The very first room you going to see will have Picassos in it. I never understood the whole thing about Picasso, this whole craziness about 
Picasso. And then in New York, when I visited one of my relatives, when I visited the family, I went to MoMA and I actually went all the museums there and uh, over there I saw Picasso, the violins and in these exhibitions it's, uh, it's actually mentioned, the violins of Picasso and I said oh my god I now understand why he's so great. We can say absolutely that uh, room one is very commercial, any painting you can take home, you can Put it in your living room, it will be absolutely fine. But room two is very controversial with uh, Kondo and other artists I never heard of, but I really like their philosophy. Then you have room three. It's a very small room, but this is a very interesting one. It's a photography, Jeff Wall, and it's experiments with movement. And if you understand this, you will definitely understand the old Skitian golden cups arts. Then you go to room four, the room I liked at least, because it's basically mixing up the, the modern and the old. And it obviously doesn't have a good opinion of the modern stuff. There is one picture though I, I like to mention that is Mortmas. I hope I pronounce it in the right way. That is actually very interesting because I was always, from the modern stuff, there is only one thing I like. And those are the high rises. The absolute surprise of the day. Hiroshi Sugimoto. I did not expect that. Very minimalist. Pictures of the sea, black and white, with a very good quote. So if I need to put them in order, like, top three rooms the very first one would be room seven and then after that the sea black and white pictures of the sea from Hiroshi Sugimoto and then the Picasso definitely that would be my top three the next one room five Gerhard Richter there's a quote immediately I did not like it says that the more most amateur picture is better than the painting of Sagal or something. No, Cezanne. Yeah, it mentioned Cezanne. And I was like, I looked for a date, you know, and the date I found it was 1932. They said, okay, almost like a hundred years later, 2023, it's like saying that any AI art is better than a photograph. So we had very limited time. I give the whole exhibition like 15 minutes which obviously not enough <laughs> altogether there are eight rooms room seven is the highlight of the show with the two handy warhols one is the self-portrait and the other one is double marlon brando but the rest of the rooms leading up to room seven are really well chosen like a good salad you have everything good what you need tossed in there okay time for the second one now that we finished for today it's still terrible <laughs> so what you need to know about Tate Modern that most of the stuff is free 90% of the area you can visit for free so those other areas are completely full of people full of tourists and uh, what happened is that when I went to room 8 I looked around and I I didn't like the the art there because it was like everything together it looks very looked very chaotic so I just I just headed out I headed for the exit and there was another guy jumping in front of me and uh, and he opened the door he opened the door and uh, you know this exhibition about uh, Andy Warhol was very quiet. Maybe we were like 10-15 people inside and outside you had these hundreds and hundreds of people. And I said no, I want to stay, I want to stay longer here 